GameStop, power to the people. <laughs> so we heard GameStop now takes in retro games as a uh, trade. So we're going to go trade in uh, Earthbound and see how much they give us. Earthbound is about 100 to $60, $170 game. So we're expecting 120 in trade at least. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go find out. You got any words, Tom? Yeah, I mean, they're selling it on GameStop's website for $199 pre-owned, so we're trying to get a good price on this game, you know? Yeah, so if they're selling it for $200, they got to offer somewhere between $120 and $130 to trade at least, but we'll go find out now and uh, let go. I was just wondering, out of curiosity, what could I get like, for this? Do you guys also have a list of like what I could bring in or not? I would have to print it up for you because I have like a lot of stuff I need to go through. I think my list that I'm looking for is in here. Retro trade. Also, um, okay. if I have the box, would I get more uh, trade value for it? No, we don't really look for the box. So it doesn't matter if it has the box or not? Someone traded a Super Nintendo in. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw like you guys traded retro games online. I was like, might as well see what I could get for this. Do yeah. many people come in with like retro stuff, or is it just all? Yeah. Well, before we couldn't take them in, we just recently started taking the retro trades in like maybe about like a week ago. On the first day, I took in two N64s, uh, and then I know for sure somebody else took another Super Nintendo in just recently, and then this one, so it's getting more popular now. I got you. Okay. Did they ever say like if they would sell them in store ever, or is it always going to be online? They haven't told us anything yet. For sure. I'm assuming that now they just started to take the retro trades in from other stores just because <coughs> they were probably running low on stock because from what I had been seeing every single time I was trying to place an order for anyone for anything retro online, we had no, nothing in stock or it was low stock. So I'm assuming they're just trying to get some more stuff back in. So I can give you about $25 in store credit or 20 in cash for this. 20 cash. Shit. Yeah, I'll just, I'll hold on to it. Damn. Right, thank you so much, no I appreciate it. <laughs> 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 Did you want that list? Um, no, I don't. That's okay. So. so we just got out of GameStop and they offered us $20 cash for this, $25 in trade. On the website, they're selling this for $199. They offered us a tenth of what they're selling it. A fucking tenth. That's insane. First of all, as a corporation, how are you going to offer that to your consumer? Like, you're you're ripping people off literally and i know people in the comment section are gonna go gee who the hell's trading fucking earthbound to gamestop it doesn't have to be earthbound it could be other rare retro games i mean it could be a whole box of saturn games and the thing is they don't give you more money if it has the box or not they said they don't care if it has the box my guess is they throw it away if they have the box so gamestop you really need to step up your shit i mean twenty dollars for earthbound Twenty dollars for Earthbound? I mean, Holy! We're talking about a game that has a value of two hundred dollars. That's been, look on their website if you don't believe us. Two hundred dollars or something. It's gonna be edited in there, buddy. Re right. Relax. Okay. We spent more money at fucking Taco Bell than what they offer us trade for Earthbound. Exactly. That's insane, GameStop. You guys really need to step up your shit. Twenty dollars, cat. Like, come on, dude. That's fucking. That's fucking insane. And it's I, not even normal. That's, that's just. That's just. That's you just, know what it is? It's just like they just don't give a fuck. They know that they're the the biggest, the best fucking video game fucking selling store out there. So like, they just feel like they can just do whatever the fuck they want, and they don't care. They're out there to make fucking money. I mean, dude, that's just. A, talk for that to a consumer. Uh, it's just insane. I mean, a, a tenth of the value of what you're selling it. I mean, that's not even. It's not even ballpark numbers. I mean, that's just. 
I don't know. If you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It does mean a lot to, you know, Tom and I and Dave, who's on a spiritual journey. Also, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please do and uh, leave a comment and give us your thoughts about the whole GameStop and trading retro games. And also tell us if you ever did trade in retro games at GameStop. I don't think anyone ever should. Well, they just said that they started doing it recently. So, so I, I, if you don't ever trade retro games into GameStop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't this, do it. This video gives you 100% proof. All right fucking unrecord. <laughs>